Hey, welcome back to another numbers episode of Apple a Day. This is another addition to the date and time function series. Today, I'm going to go over the today and now functions. These are very basic functions that don't take any parameters, so this should be a very quick tutorial. Let's start out with the today function. So I've got a blank numbers document open. I'm just going to go into any cell and type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. And I'm going to type in the word today, press return, and return again to close the editor. And you can see it displays today's date, which is April 29th, 2023. And for me, it's displaying it in the automatic date format, which is year, month, day. I'm going to change that by going under the cell properties to data format and where it has date. I'm going to choose the name of the month, day and year. Now time is set to none, but if I were to add a time, you'll notice that it's set to midnight. Let's make that column a little wider. You notice that it is set to midnight uh, with the hours, minutes, and seconds at 000. This is standard on any system where only the date is needed. The time is still stored, but it has to be set to something, so they set it to zero across the board, which is interpreted as midnight. So what's the difference between using the today function versus typing in today's date? Well, the big difference is that the today function is dynamic, meaning it will change over time. So if I were to save this numbers document and open it tomorrow, this day would update to display April 30th. Or if I were working on this table late at night and the clock strikes midnight, any time I make a change after midnight, the table will update and you'll notice that the date would change to the next day. According to the documentation, the displayed date is updated every time the file is opened or a change is made to the table. So if you do want to enter in today's date, but don't want it to ever change, then you should not use this function. Instead, simply type out the date. You can also embed the today function within other functions. In another cell, I'm gonna type in the equal sign, again, to bring up the formula editor. I'm gonna type in the function name year and press return. And you can see it takes one parameter, the date parameter. Now I could type in a date, but instead I'm gonna type in the today function and press return and return one more time to close the editor. And you can see it displays the year value of today's date. Now, if I were to save this and open this document in 2024, that would update to show 2024. Because again, the today function is a dynamic function. Also, you can perform addition and subtraction on this function. Let's say I wanted to show yesterday's date. So I could type in equals today, return, and then minus one and press return again. And it shows me April 28th, which is yesterday's date, considering today's date is the 29th. And just like before, if I open this up tomorrow, it would then show today's date. Okay, let's move on to the now function. So the now function is very similar to the today function, except now includes the current time as well. So in a new cell, I'm gonna type in the equal sign, once again, to bring up the formula editor. I'm gonna type in the word now and press return and return again to close the editor. And you can see it shows today's date. But what's interesting is because I did this on the exact same cell when I was playing with the today function, and I had changed the format of that cell so it shows the spelled out date rather than year, month, day. I've got the name of the month and of course today's date and then the year. But notice that it also shows the time. 1824.53, which is the time I'm recording this. Uh, 624.53 in the evening. Also, just like the today function, the now function is dynamic. So if I go anywhere, as soon as I type anything in any cell, watch that date and time. It's going to change from 18, 24, 53 to whatever the current time is. As soon as I change anything in this table, something as simple as typing in a keystroke on a cell. Check it out. I'm going to do it right now. It updates. So it's very useful, if, especially if you need that to constantly reflect what the current date and time is. If I continue to type in this cell, it's not recognizing that as a change. I think if I hit return and press return, yeah, when I hit return, it updated there to 29 seconds. And if I type something somewhere else, it'll update again. So anytime I change anything in the table or if I close the document and open it again, it will always update to the current date and time. And of course, just like with the today function, if you don't want the time to change, then the time should be entered explicitly. So for example, if you were entering a log sheet, you wouldn't use this function since the dates and times of the log entries should be static and unchanging. Um, obviously, if you use the function every time you open the document, all of the dates and times in your log entries would be the same because they're all updating to the current date and time. 
which of course would make that type of table useless. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything you can do with the today and now functions. Like I said, a very quick tutorial. They're very, very basic functions. If you have any questions on these, or maybe as to when you would use these or any other date and time function, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching. I'm John Martins. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Apple A Day.